What is going on, Knicks Nation? Welcome back to Knicks Media. Happy 4th of July. We have some news to talk about. The trade details are finalized with the Bridges to the New York Knicks. We have a player coming back to the Knicks in this trade that we did not know about. We also have a player going to the Brooklyn Nets in a sign and trade. This also tells us that Deuce McBride is going nowhere. I was not concerned, but there was some speculation that Deuce McBride may have to be included in order to work out the salary because the Knicks are trying to figure out a way to make this trade go through and let it work on the books. So I'm going to break it down in this video. Brock Aller is the guy that we got to give props to. And of course, Leon Rose and World Wide West. They did a phenomenal job and now the Knicks have an opportunity to add another piece in free agency for the mid-level exception and they got a player in Bates Diop in this Brooklyn trade that I think could actually help out the depth of the Knicks front court. We all know the front court for this Knicks team. We need depth at that spot. I think Bates Diop is someone that Knicks fans can be somewhat excited about. He looked really good with the San Antonio Spurs a few years back. He's a 28-year-old power forward. He went to Phoenix and then he got traded in that Kevin Durant trade, I believe, and then now he is coming to the New York Knicks. The Knicks also include Shake Milton in the sign and trade and Diakite. So here is a tweet from Ian Begley. He says, source confirms the Knicks Shake Milton and Diakite will be sent to Brooklyn as part of the Bridges trade. Milton will be a sign and trade, which should get the Knicks enough total salary to avoid the first apron hard cap. They had at least one other deal lined up entering free agency to get out of the hard cap. So this is basically what the Knicks are trying to do to make sure they have enough money to go out there and get a mid-level exception available for them to use. And I think they're going to use that on maybe a guy like Precious Achua or another free agent big that we've been talking about on this channel all throughout this week. And again, the biggest news about this is that we're getting Bates D up in this trade and we're also not trade Deuce McBride, which is absolutely big time, big time news. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section, guys, of the full trade details. They're finally, finally here. There's also other news that happened today that I want to fill you guys in on with these New York Knicks, that the Knicks officially signed the first round pick, Pacom Dadier. Now, this is interesting here because when we drafted him in the first round, a lot of people were speculating if this is going to be a player that we stash overseas and we're not going to see him this season, but that's not the case. He is going to be with this Knicks team this year, but he signed a very interesting contract. He took a pay cut. I'm pretty sure Pacom Dadier took less money to come play with the Knicks as a first-round rookie. You do not see this all the time. So you see the report from Fred Katz. He says, unexpected development. The Knicks have signed first-round pick Pacom Dadier to 80% of the rookie scale. League sources say the move will save the Knicks a significant amount, 904 thousand dollars under the 2024-25 hard cap. Knicks also paid a buyout to his German team. So what the Knicks did is they bought out Daddy's contract to the German team overseas that allows Daddy A to sign a contract to be with the New York Knicks. He will be on the roster heading into training camp and heading into this season. This is really good news. It helps the Knicks out financially. And basically, like I said at the top of the show, Brock Aller and Leon Rose and World Wide West are playing chess back there. They are absolutely manipulating the cap and making sure they have enough money to figure this all out for this upcoming season. I absolutely love this. Pacom Dadier is a guy that I think has a lot of upside. Six foot eight, six foot nine wing that can put the ball on the floor, hit step back threes, mid range at assassin. He's 18 years old. He's raw. I don't expect him to do much as a rookie, but this is a guy that could definitely step in for depth purposes and more importantly, develop for the long term for this New York Knicks team. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section of all the latest news that we got this morning of these New York Knicks officially getting the Bridges trade. I think this is going to become official official on July 6th, I believe. But as you see, Bates Diop is coming to New York and Shake Milton is going to Brooklyn on a sign and trade. And we also included Diakite and Boyan Bogdanovich, of course, is still included in the trade as well as all of those uh, draft picks, and of course, the Knicks still have a mid-level exception they can use to go after somebody else in the open market. A lot to figure out, but I wanted to provide this update here on the 4th of July. I'm about to go to the beach with my family and friends now. Hope you guys have a, ha a happy 4th of July with your family and friends. Let's go, Knicks. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the like button if you enjoy. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out, and as always, go Knicks.